When we think about a, a robot or a robotic car, it has to see the world, it has to decide what to do, and then it has to act. Newtonomy really aims to revolutionize urban transport, and you know our hope and dreams is that we bring that to market here in Singapore first. I dream in five years that most people in Singapore are getting around in a Newtonomy powered car. This ecosystem is not just local or domestic. It is very much an international ecosystem. The government has added Fusionopolis, Block 71, a whole area dedicated to putting startups in the same place. We often joke and remark that Singapore is the Silicon Island of Asia now. And what that's doing is it's, it's bringing together the most vibrant ecosystem. We like being in this area because there's a lot of young people, there's a lot of energy, and that's, that's an incredible place to work. For businesses like Smart Karma that target a global client base, a large sort of enterprise client base, Singapore was a very perfect destination because most large global enterprises have some presence in Singapore. For our product, I think it's really strong in emerging markets. Singapore is a great base for the emerging markets around Asia. Our startups are taught to go global to, from day one. So because we are forced to look abroad, we often shape our business model in a way that's more uh, universal rather than domestic. So that's one of our advantage. We very much believe that technology in Singapore certainly has reached a very fertile stage. And I think with operators like us, bringing the expertise to incubate and possibly bringing the commercial pathway more evidently and seeing more successes out of those technology. Startup companies have the advantage of having local knowledge and local networks. And we want to support and nurture their ideas towards groundbreaking potential global solutions for patients and consumers. Singapore's uh, tech startup ecosystem has uh, matured over the years and hopefully we think with the investment that the government has put in in, in R&D, in, in real deep science and deep tech, this uh, knowledge and intellectual property is uh, ripe for commercialization. We met with the government officials, we met with companies, we met with research institutions and the fact that they're all aligned on the idea of autonomous cars really has made it a great place for us to do business. As a startup founder, right, we want to solve problems that is faced in, in society, in the world. We want to create a positive change, a positive impact. So EDGE stands for Empower, Develop and Groom Entrepreneurs. So it's actually a framework where we actually bring uh, startup founders, uh, aspiring entrepreneurs from zero to one to nurture our young and aspiring entrepreneurs and individuals to become capable leaders and entrepreneurs of the future. Large companies such as uh, Johnson Johnson, we are very good in developing products for consumers. But we are probably not the best in innovating novel solution technologies. Therefore, we partner with startup companies and entrepreneurs, also an academic. So the Singapore ecosystem, especially for startups, is really unique because this is one where, on one hand, like the government is really supportive, um, both in terms of financial support uh, with the government grants available, and also the availability of like network here. With the involvement of IHLs, with the involvement of uh, private accelerators and corporations, I think there is a very interesting community being set up in Singapore. And I think in Singapore we have the very benefit of having a very, very close line between government and, and, and private sector too, with a common goal and saying, hey, let's create a success, let's create an ecosystem, and the uh, ability to listen, ability to act on what they listen, that, is, that they feel in this case is right, I think that in itself measures up a lot to what we consider as a holistic support. Startup is the future because these are the seeds of our future SMEs. My hope is it is sustainable and it can be sustainable. I think that um, this is a really, really important region for us and I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up deciding to headquarter in Singapore.
We really see ourselves looking at opportunities across the world, but Singapore is our launch market, is our incubation market, this is where we grow. I think we've really, really, really grown as an ecosystem and it's the real deal now.